than I used to be. Mr. Towns, wherever he is. For with all the neons burning bright, pretty lights, red and blue. But this shut down all the honky tonks tonight. Say a prayer too. Always said the highway was your home. We both know that ain't true. It's just the only place a man can go. He don't know where he's traveling to. Colorado's always clean and healing And Tennessee in the spring's green and cool it Never really was your kind of town But you went around With the Fort Worth blues Junkies end up jail eventually it was funny, I mean, the white guys in jail knew who I was, but black people don't listen to my music, so I just sort of hung out with the black guys, and then I could just be a guy in jail. <laughs> I'd been to treatment, I'd come back to jail, I attended meetings in the jail, and then at midnight, um, the automatic door to my cell opened, and somebody yelled, Earl, all the way! So I walked out about one in the morning by the time I signed out and got my stuff back. And in my property were these smelly clothes that I'd been wearing when I turned myself in. And I had to put those back on, which was really fucking gross. And the jail's right downtown, so I was literally five blocks from a place I could have gone and gotten drugs. But um, that night I had a choice. For the first time in years, Where's the scream? Is that even later? Is that even later? Yeah, I don't know if I want to use that though. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, come on. That is much later actually, and it's on the. What it is? It's it's on the. Uh, on the overdub track, because I think I did another pass of the vocal. Um. This was something that we, you know, I, the last fucking thing I needed in the world was, was a production project right now, because I'm really planning on spending this time off, because I'm going to be gone for a long time. And I'm a lot more into being at home than I used to be. But I've known Ron for a long time, and, and I didn't... Um, I met Ron in 88 or something in Canada, and he was playing in the Elma Combo, and, uh -huh. and, and uh, I was on my way to see Sacred Reich, see a hard rock band. We just sort of happened in there, and, and uh, um, you know, I talked to him after the show because he, he blew me away. And we sort of kept in touch, you know, I, I'd see him when I came to Canada to play for a couple years, and then the wheels kind of came off my life, and I totally disappeared. Here we go. <laughs> That's great, man. Can I put it, if you don't want to use it, I'll put it on my record. Yeah, sample that. <laughs> I mean, we can yeah. sample you and kill you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's one of the best songwriters I know. And there's not, uh, there's not like, uh, and, and has been as long as I've known him. And, but it, it's just getting better. But the main thing, what, he's, what he does consistently that makes me jealous is, oh, is, is melodies. And his melodies are gorgeous. And, 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 and really exploring melodies is something that's relatively new in my stuff. I think this record that I've just made is the most melodic record I've ever made. And, you know, whereas I've been more about lyrics. But his, then that's, that's not nothing, you know, not saying that, that lyrics are a weak point for him because they're not. His songs are really it's incredibly. the hardest part for me. Like, you're much more lyrical and much what seem to be more. Yeah, I just. Well, I, I just don't. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm 
the word part of it has always been easier and and you know i write i can write words all the time and i find that's why i branched out into writing other things besides songs because i really sort of you know need to write there's i i don't have a a bunch of melodies lying around there's not always a, a melody conveniently available when i want to write something so i sort of ha had to to keep from going nuts branch out into writing you know short fiction and poetry <laughs> You know, sometimes he'll just come up and he'll be kind of, you know, tapping me on the shoulder or something. Or uh, I think I think there there is a, um, and he's been around a long time, and there's a lot of, I think, you know, there's a lot of wisdom there, and uh, I think he wants to see me succeed. And this whole record, he's just been trying to, you know, trying to help me make a record that's gonna get me off the ground. You know, so I think he really, he's very, he's been very caring that, that way almost like a father figure and um, and he's look he's, he's looks more like a, a dad now actually too with the beard and the glasses and the smoke and the pipe so so he's kind of eased into that role quite naturally I think you know so and you, you've seen him in his first days I did yeah I mean I never saw him when he was living on the street or anything but I mean I I, I first met him back in 88 and I met him a few times in that period, a few year period, where I didn't know what was going on at the time, but but uh, apparently that was kind of when he was pretty heavily into it. But uh, he didn't show. I mean, I couldn't really tell. I mean, it's hard, you know, because Steve's always been very uh, intense, you know, and uh, I don't know, so I couldn't really tell. He could have been, he could have been high on something. You never know, right? Hey, Steve. <coughs> Dude. We're just talking about you and your guitars it's and. Dude, isn't it? Uh, that's right. yeah, that's it. We have harmonicas. We have harmonicas. Uh, now there's going to be some, some music. Here. No, I'm just uh, talking about the guitars and which ones I played and this and that. Yeah, a lot of these. The reason they're up on the wall so they get used. Mm -hmm. if, if you have, I mean, have guitars and they stay in the cases, then you forget about them. You know, it's one of those. And they've let me they've let me touch them all, right? Play them all, so. <laughs> I can leave Ireland, no problem. This won't hurt a bit. Hell it'll be easy for an old hand like me. After all, I left Texas when I was young and still believe with all my heart that she was the center of the universe. I've left children behind to grow up like weeds while they learn from their mothers not to love me too much. I once turned my back on a lover so tender that each place she touched me still carries her mark. And I've nurtured an ember from the pain of that parting for all of these years and now it's still burning bright. Rekindled and turned by hundreds of heartaches that a traveler suffers while plying his trade. All the goodbyes unspoken and the promises broken and birthdays forgotten in the long lonesome nights. I'd have been an addict if I'd been a carpenter. I just wouldn't have been able to afford as much or as, you know, as much drugs or, or drugs as good as I was able to afford. I don't ever want to forget how miserable that was. Because if I do, I might start thinking that you know, I'm cured. And the day I start thinking I'm cured, I'm fucked. You sure? How do you know? I'm sure. Take my word for it. I know it ain't 